In an effort to stop gun violence, President Biden unveiled six steps today to tighten restrictions on what he calls ghost guns or untraceable weapons. He also called for a ban on assault weapons and eliminating gun manufacturer immunity. Today, the president said gun violence is an epidemic, calling on Congress to take action. They've offered plenty of thoughts and prayers, members of Congress, but they passed not a single new federal law to reduce gun violence. Enough prayers. Time for some action. The president's announcement is drawing criticism from leading Tennessee lawmakers who see pending gun control measures as a way to strip Second Amendment rights. News 2's Gerald Harris takes a look from the state capitol newsroom. In the state of Tennessee, we'll meet the D.C. thugs at our border. That was the reaction on Twitter from Cosby, Tennessee Republican Representative Jeremy Faison in reaction to news of the president moving to reform some gun laws. Just a few hours later, the Republican House Caucus chairman attempted to walk back the tweet. Well, that's obviously me just being colorful in my speech, number one. <laughs> The comment comes as mass shootings are on the rise, according to gunviolencearchive.org, and in the shadow of a deadly Capitol insurrection. If D.C. or the White House starts to do a, a gun grab or any, anything that we would view as in the state as something that's not constitutional or goes against what we as a state believe is our, our gun rights and our constitutional rights, we We'll fight it as hard as we can with everything we have. Democrats say the rhetoric should be tempered down. I don't really think there's any place for inflammatory rhetoric like that. Everybody in America has just experienced one of the most high conflict periods over the last six months. And I think it's time to bring the temperature down and actually focus on how we solve a problem instead of trying to exchange, you know, insults or threats. The measures from President Biden includes rules to combat ghost guns and publishing red flag laws for states to adopt. Republican House Speaker Cameron Sexton says there's rhetoric on all sides. Is there appropriate rhetoric coming out of D.C., uh, coming out of other states? I mean, we can have that discussion amongst what everybody's saying. In Nashville, Gerald Harris, News 2. And just a few hours ago, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee officially signed his permitless carry legislation into law. That bill allows those 21 and older to open or conceal carry a handgun without a carry permit. The law takes effect on July 1st.